Hi, I'm Dirk from Brainworks, and today I'd like to show you our new saturation and distortion plugin called the BX Saturator. You can use our BX Saturator plugin mainly for two things to bring out quiet signals in complex mixes in a very natural way without using compression, or to even distort elements of your mix like drums and vocals on purpose and in a very controllable way. The Exaturator offers an MS and multiband layout and was developed for mixing, mastering and sound design. I'd like to play you a few audio examples first so you can get an impression of what this plugin can do. Afterwards, I will give you some more details about the advanced technology we put into the Exaturator, such as the True Split and XL features. But let's rock first! Now let me show you how we use the BX Saturator in detail to achieve the sounds you've just heard. Let me reopen the plain drum track and explain the technical elements and the plug-in settings I've dialed in. Here we go. With the XL knob you can create additional harmonics to balance the dynamics of the signal without using compression. The drive knob offers distortion which ranges from subtle to heavy. You can adjust XL and drive individually per section for optimal results. An extra boost which affects the distortion can be achieved by increasing the section gain in the pre-mode. While in post mode it can be used to balance the volume of the four individual sections. The XL algorithm is taken from the famous VXXL mastering limiter. But both the M and the S channels offer dual band options now. Our new True Split crossover technology ensures that mid and side channels are perfectly in phase all the time. The switchable auto solo mode makes it easy to find the perfect crossover frequency and individual settings. Each section has a switchable solo knob as well. With the mono maker you can mix your low end to mono while leaving the rest of your mix stereo. Adding a lot of distortion can increase the volume of your mix, so make sure to monitor the meters all the time. You can adjust the output gain for M and S individually or linked if desired. And the output gain of the S channel even lets you adjust the stereo width. 